Thursday, 2nd February 2023. And uh, we thank God for how Father has brought us. We thank Him that He has kept us even until this day. This week, we are looking at faith. We've looked at the benefits of faith. We've looked at some of the old prophets and the things that He have done as we credited to them as faith. And then we are saying that, supposing that God is, is supposing that the Bible wants to write an account of us, how are we going to be credited with faith? And so we said that, and so we said that it is time that we should start exercising our faith. And then we looked at um, being disciplined in the law. This morning, we're going to continue our meditation. And we want to look at, we want to take our, our readings a little from, from the psalm this morning, Psalm 24. And we want to typically look at verse 3 and then verse 4. So Psalm 24, verse 3. It says that, or he asks, Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place it is the one who has clean hands and a pure heart who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god says that who may ascend the mountain of the lord when when we look at psalm 84 psalm 84 verse 1 uh, it says a very interesting thing it says that um so a moment psalm psalm 84 verse 1 it says that how lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord Almighty! My soul yearns and even faints for the cause of the Lord. My heart and flesh cry out even for the living God. And so the psalm this one is asking us that who may ascend the mountain of the Lord, or rather, or in or as in verse 84, who may be in the dwelling place of the Lord, who, or who may be with God in his, in his dwelling place. And then verse 4 answers us, it says that. It is the one who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not trust any idol or swear by a false god. In our work with faith, in our work with God, the, 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 what we want to achieve is to have a closer work. What we, what we need to achieve is to have that perfection that he has promised unto us, and that perfection is to be with him in heaven above. And so what's the point of our faith if we can't be with him in heaven? What's the point of our faith if we can't exercise perfection? What's the point of our faith if we can't ascend with him into heaven? And so this morning, in our psalm, we just want to remind ourselves that without this thing, the faith we are exercising will be in vain. Without all these things, without, it, it, it says that the one, it's only the one who has clean hands and a pure heart that is going to ascend the mountain with the Lord. And so what's the essence of our faith? What's the essence of our suffering? What's the essence of our discipline if we don't have clean hands, if we can't be with our Father in heaven? And so this morning we are asking that in our work with faith, may we, may we do all to purify ourselves, may we do all to find ourselves ready, may we do all to be away with sin, may we do all to have our hands clean, to have pure hearts, and to trust in only the Lord. For it is, in this, for it is only in this way that we may ascend the mountain with the Lord. And in Malachi, in our, in our first reading for today, Malachi chapter 3, verse 1 to 5, it says that, But who can endure that day, that day, that day that is coming? Who can stand when the Lord appears? For he will be like a refiner's fire or a laundry soap. He will sit as a refiner and purifier, and purifier of the silver. The Lord will have men who will bring offerings in righteousness, and the offerings of Judah and Jerusalem will be acceptable to the Lord, as in the days gone by and as in the former years. And so this morning, we, we are reminding ourselves of, of the purification that is needed. If we don't do it now, the Bible says that, or Bible is reminding us in Malachi that nobody can stand the day when he comes. He has given us so much freedom now, so much freedom to redeem ourselves, so much freedom to refine ourselves, so much freedom to renew our strength in Him. And, and Malachi is reminding us that if we are not able to do it, if we are not able to take opportunity of all this grace, of all these soft hands that the Lord has for us, He says that on that day when He comes, who can stand before Him? And like mentioned earlier, the main purpose of our work with God, the main purpose of our faith, the main purpose of our struggle is to have that closer work with Him. And so if you are not taking advantage of all the grace that has been bestowed unto us, if you are not taking advantage, of all the, the love that God has shown unto us today, if we're not taking advantage of all these things, and we don't have a pure heart, and we don't have clean hands, 
And then we are going to wait for that day that he has to come to refine us. So the Bible says that he's going to refine us, even as a laundry soap, and then refine us fire. So what if after refining us, there's nothing left of us? And so this morning, in our meditation, in our work with faith, I want to remind us of the fact that there's a need for us to pray for ourselves. There's a need for us to pray for our minds. There's a need for us to pray for our hearts because it is only this way, because it's only in this chance that we may be able to ascend his throne, we may be able to ascend with him, as in our psalm for today, Psalm, psalm 24, verse 13. And so even as we go about our daily activities this morning, that is my prayer for us this morning. May we, may we be able to refine our hearts, may we be able to renew our hearts, renew our faith, renew our, renew our strength, renew our work with him, so that on the day when he comes, he shall find us worthy and ready. On the day when he comes, he shall find us prepared for his coming. And at the end of the day, that which he has promised unto us, that perfection that he has promised unto us, we will achieve them. We have settled this through Christ our Lord. Amen.